That's full force right there. All in my mind. 1985, 1986. What nothing? What? Couldn't mess with it. Was the day was the yo? Force was that joy. It was the joy. It's still you know doing it, getting it on that right and tip. But now you wanna come back. You wanna come back home. Uh, all right, we're gonna get back into this in a minute. We're gonna definitely get back to this in a minute. But check this out. I was born. Yo, Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get ism number 392 for October 30th, 2015. Let me tell y'all something that's happening on my block as we speak. Right here outside the studio, the dope boys, drug boys, whatever you want to call them, they are warring with each other, throwing eggs at each other. No guns, straight throwing, um, um, you know, uh, raw eggs at each other. They got cartons full of eggs, and it's all over the street, yolk all over the street. And they do, they do this each and every uh, uh, October 30th, every year. So that's mischief night. We call it mystery night. And that's, that's just what we grew up calling it. We grew up calling it Mystery Night. But it's really Mischief Night. But we don't like the way that sounds. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to do it the black way. So we call it, we call it Mystery Night. I guess it's because when, when, when your trash get turned over, when, it's, when your house is all egged up, when, when, it's, <laughs> you know, when your, your car is written in, in soap and all that kind of stuff, it's like, who did this mess? It's a mystery. But anyway... They out there fighting with with the uh, with these uh, with these um, raw eggs or whatever, throwing them at each other. They running, they cutting through alleys and in the back of the back of the cribs and all of that kind of stuff. Eggs, not guns. Eggs, not guns. I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. I might get. I don't have no eggs though. You know, I don't get down with the dairy. Anyway, listen. What I wanted to talk to y'all about tonight is that you can't save them all. We can't save them all. You know, sometimes we feel like we can. You know, if you're, if you're a good-hearted person, a generous person, a person that really wants to give from your heart, and you're really trying to make a mark out here and, and enlighten people and things like that, sometimes you're going to have to run into the fact, fact and accept the fact that you just can't save everybody. Everybody's not going to be able to make it to the finish line. Some people got to get left behind. But one of the things that should be understood is that the important thing is to plant the seed. You won't always be there to, to see the seed grow. You won't always be there to give the seed light. You won't always be there to make sure the seed gets enough water in order to grow. Sometimes you just have to plant the seed, put it, plant it in an area where it will get enough light, where it will um, um, be exposed to the rain when it comes. And then come back later on and see if it's if it's growing, if the, if the uh, leaves have sprouted, if it has um, made it to the next level. Because you if you if you try to watch the the seed grow into a plant, it's like watching paint dry. You're gonna get frustrated. It's gonna seem like like it's taking a lot longer than it's really taking. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is because as black people, a lot of us are lost. That's just the truth of the matter. A lot of black people are lost. They, 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 they're stuck in this world. They think that everything is about the money out here. Anything that, you know, whatever makes money, you know, makes sense. You know, um, the, the ends justify the means. And that means anything. Whether it's murder, whether it's robbery, whether it's deception, whether it's lying, whether it's stealing, whether it's, whether it's um, hating on somebody, whether it's, it's taking a love away from somebody, whether it's... It's betrayal, leaving your family behind, leaving your, your friends behind, um, um, turning your back on your community. As long as it makes that dough, then it seems like it's okay. Because, you know, people figure they can buy their way back in if it's worth it. And that's why I say we can't save everybody. We've got to leave some, some people behind. Because when you're of that mentality, you're of a different world. It's like with, from two different worlds. If you're out here trying to make sure, okay... Let me put it like this. As black people, if you're a positive, conscious black man or woman, 
then you're constantly trying to elevate the 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 um the the level of your people. You're trying to get them to to see some things out here that they wouldn't see with the naked eye. So you're trying to train them to be able to to pick apart the media, to to pick apart the self hate, to pick apart and destroy the 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 hate that you have not only for yourself but for for your brothers and your sisters. You know to see the real reason um, behind your history, which is making such an impact on the way we are today. And a lot of people don't want to look at that because it's a painful experience. I'm not going to I'm not going to say that that's a good reason. I'm not going to allow people to make an excuse for it. But the bottom line is for my people, for my men and women out there working in the trenches, trying to elevate, elevate the conscious level of, of our people. You know, you can't spend all of your time on one. You can't. Sometimes you just got to plant that seed. You know, make sure you plant it in an area where where get enough light and, the, and enough water. And come back later on to see if it's growing. And if you see that it hasn't grown any, you know, since the last time, we'll see if you can plant it again. If, if you think it's worth it. If it's not worth it, go and spend your time on somebody or something that will give you a greater return. And the return is that elevation of consciousness. Things ain't got to be the way that they, they, they are. But we got to stop looking for, for stadiums full of, of success. Because let me tell y'all something about that. You know, looking for the popular way to be able to, to see progress. When you see a stadium full of people... Or like like when I went to the Million Man March on October 10th, you know, there was a, a million people down there or, how, or whatever the number was. How many of those people are down there were really conscious? What percentage? You know, let's say if there were a million people there, out of that million, how many people out there really received the message? And they're going to take it home and use the message for what it's worth. How many? That percentage is going to be low. So let me put it this this way. If you can't, if, if, if a stadium or, or a national mall full of people ain't really getting it like that, but they just out there because somebody else, you know, said it was a good idea to come out there. What do you think is going on right there on your block? See, if you can't get your own the people on your block on board, you can't expect to go somewhere and and um be part of you know seventy thousand people, hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, seven hundred fifty thousand million people. You can't you can't expect that. You know what I mean? Because the story is the same in a lot of places. But what you can do is work hard to get it. Get it together for the people that you do know and the ones that you can save. For the one, make sure that the ones that are able to be saved don't get unsaved. That they don't get thrown by the, you know, thrown left by the wayside, thrown to the side, put in the garbage. Make sure that they get what they need. And for for those who are resistant, they might be resistant today, but they may come around later on. So you just plant that seed, then you go somewhere else where you can play in the garden. You know what I mean? That's all you can really do. It's, it's, like I said, I, I don't think that you should leave anybody behind. But just make sure that you know your efforts are worth the energy that you're putting into them. Because you don't want to get discouraged yourself. And then you get left behind. It, or you allow yourself to fall behind. You don't want to do that. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard. Go for yours. And remember, you can't save everybody. But make sure that you save the ones that are available to be saved. The ones that had the potential to swim, you make sure that you teach them the backstroke, the butterfly. Make sure you teach them how to, how to swim on the bottom of the pool. How to hold their breath for a long time. You turn, turn them into Olympians, champion swimmers. And those who are afraid to even get in the water, so they just sit by the pool with their with they feet dangling in there. Just plant them seeds.
Because you can't you can't win a swimming race if you're scared to get wet. And remember, we got that slave mentality going on amongst our people. And that stuff is hard to work out. That's why we got to just plant the seeds. Like, like the black Moses Harriet, um, Harriet Tubman said, she would have freed a lot more slaves if they realized that they were slaves. Some people are happy just being slaves. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just look around you. Let's get back into this. Oh, yo. Yeah. Now look. Saturday. Halloween. We got that thing. That thing. <laughs> yo, the Take the Fall event, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Take the Fall event. Make sure y'all come down there. West Hicken Avenue, Rittenhouse Street, 10 a.m. You need more details, go over there and you know I meet mean? Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Urban Therapy with Sun, man. The hood is our health, baby. Yeah, you know I mean? hey, the hood is our health. We ain't playing around here. I'm out there on Halloween morning, 10 a.m. Let me get right to the point, the, the part that I like. There you go, there, man. Okay, here goes the part. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, it's coming up. It's coming up. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta make sure we get this part. Like, this part is like. The best part of the whole joint. The best part of the whole. Here it come, here it come. Go leg and loop. Go ahead, kick it. Oh. You and that other guy. Me. I like it. Even on some nights. You said I wasn't even good enough for you. Girl, you must be bugging. Ah, shit, shit. Ah. Yeah, baby. Everything up even sucks, baby. The hood is all hell, baby. Eat them fruits and vegetables, man. Stop messing around with all that crazy processed food. Get it, get it right. Alright, y'all holler.